Hi ho neighbors, Rado Goji here, and welcome back to Fez. And the last left off, we'd started uh, exploring the um, the industrial uh, section of the um, of the game, which is the pretty much like the second uh, major area in said game. I um, I do realize that uh, the the video upload schedule was kind of off center. It partially came from, um, sorry about that, was a, when I, when I get PSN messages, I also get them on my phone. Um, there was a tiny bit of a, uh, what's the, I can't think of the word now. Like, there wasn't a, a video up on Tuesday. It was partially because of the whole, um, sometimes I forget to, uh, sometimes I forget to upload when I'm getting ready for work. Because uh, I usually try to upload my my videos when I'm getting ready for work, um, but I, I you know I forgot to do so on Tuesday, and um, it actually ended up offsetting uh, this the upload schedule a bit, which actually proved out to be quite uh, proved to be quite fruitful because um, yesterday because today is Sunday yesterday um, I decided instead of uh, uh, straight up recording Fez uh, on Saturday I would actually try my hand at the um, at the at Drunk Man Sky, which was a, uh, which was an idea that I had for a, a while, and I did that last night. Um, you can uh, you can check out that it's it's in two parts technically because uh, after the first part went on for like a couple hours, like right as my roommate got home too, uh, it seemed to um, it seemed to uh, cut out the uh, it seemed to cut out the, uh, the broadcast is annoying, but, um, I don't think it's really his fault. I think it's just because our, um, because the, the network seems to slow down whenever he gets, when he gets home and starts doing stuff, but I don't really think that's his fault. I think this just might, just might be the network, and there really isn't too much we can do about that. Um, I did oh, look at my, um, my percentage when I started the, uh, the game up again here, and it does say that I'm, like, at, like, 47% completion. Which is quite a bit, considering that I haven't gone through too much. Um, and I do have quite a bit of, uh, of walkthrough left on here. So I don't know if um, it just might be a whole bunch of... Uh, dang it, these platforms. I don't know if it just might be a, um, a situation where I run out of walkthrough, but uh, I haven't had a chance really to uh, go back to my practice playthrough and get uh, right more walkthrough down. So if I end up running out of walkthrough, I'll probably have, you know, less videos for the week. But I, I think it'll be okay. Uh, I have some other ideas for videos and whatnot um, that uh, I can do. Um, like, uh, what's the, uh, the main thing that I, that I had in mind? Am I even going the right way? This is where the, uh, I think I got turned around with these platforms. I think I want to go to the other piston is what, is what I want to do. So let's... Yeah, these platforms keep turning me around, so... There. There are three bits in this area I want to get. I want to get. Um, one of the ideas I have is to, like, make a, uh, a vlog video of me building a, a Gundam model. Um, because building Gundam models is fun. I haven't done so in over a year. And I have, uh, and I do have a bunch of of, uh, of model kits that I haven't built yet. So I'll, you know, go over some some, you know, stuff as I, uh, you, you know, talk a bit as I do so. But um, but yeah, uh, let's see if I can find my way back around. What? Trick jump? No, trick jump will fail. Ain't that just always how it goes, though? I can do trip, trick jump this way. No, I could land on the piston, though. That worked out fine. I'm not going to complain about that. I also find it kind of odd. I, th I don't know if I mentioned it during the uh, the Witness stream on Thursday. Um, but uh, I, um, I find it kind of odd that... Um, you know, the main thing I do is, uh, is, is Let's Playing, obviously. But... Um, 
when I uploaded the, my uh, my Hobonichi Techo unboxing video, the Rado vlog from like last week, I think. Yeah, it was last week. Um, it already has almost 200 views on it. Um, and the odd thing is, like, all of my Let's Play videos at this at, at this current moment, like, usually get, I don't know, 20 views at most, average, like, 5. That is, of course, um, unless it's in the future and I'm actually super popular now and I'm already a celebrity. <laughs> like, that's gonna happen. Um... But I, I digress. So I just think it was kind of odd that, uh, of all the things to actually garner a whole bunch of views, it was the one where I uh, it was the one where I open a day planner out of a box. But this one's. See, so you have all these boxes here that are turning around. They're all spinning on erratic angles, but they're all spinning at erratic. They're not really erratic angles, but they're all they're all lined up to make a bridge like that. I'm sorry, I just still think this is so cool with how they uh, with how they do some of this stuff. Spinning platforms are not so cool. Especially when something like that happens. I am sick of the spinning platforms by now. Especially because they can really bring you off kilter and uh, mess you up, but... Yes, I know how this works. This is a... Have we done the screws? Lots of bolts. Well, that's how they work. You hold down uh, square on the, um... Actually, I don't think we've done nuts and bolts before, now that I think about it. Um, but yeah, that's what you do, is you hold down square on the handle and uh, change your perspective to uh, make them go up and down. But enough about that, we just got a cube, which means we have 15 cubes now. And uh, we want to go down there. There's a treasure chest. Will I die if I go here? No, I will not. That's lucky. So let's course, open the treasure chest, and inside is treasure map. We'll be looking at the treasure maps and stuff later, I think. Whoops, I forgot triangles. But there's some writing on there. That says cube. There's a, uh, oh look, there's what something what something looks like, and then there might be some invisible platforms, so we'll, we'll check that out uh, when we get back to uh, that particular area. And it says cube. I don't know if it actually, at this point, means cube, or if it actually means an anti-cube. It could be either one at this point, um, but I am going to try to get as many cubes as we can uh, before going on to, um, like, the next major part of the game. And uh, I do know that there's, I think, I can get, I don't know if it's just a, a way that's set up or if I was reading something wrong. But I don't think that I can get all of the cubes on the first playthrough of the game. Uh, I think I have to actually... Because there will be multiple playthroughs. I just accidentally spoiled that, sorry. but um, So I will have to get at least one anti-cube if I'm reading that correctly. But like I said, I haven't had a chance to uh, to really do my, pla my practice playthrough or walk my, write my walkthrough stuff down. So that kind of sucks. So I don't really have much of a context on how that ends up, but I'll look at another game. Let's warp back to the... Uh, oh, we found 16 cubes. You know what to do. You can open that last door now. At least I think it's the last door. We're not going to worry about that right now. There's more cubes to find. Because that's just how things are. Back here. So let's go to this door now. So we don't even have to worry about those stupid black holes there. And now we're here. So this has some lifts. Basically, they work by just jumping on them. And of course, as you might expect, the paths can have multiple dimensions to them. So sometimes, like we'll see a point where it just stood still there for a second, it's following along what is, the, I guess, the Z-axis right now. Same thing with that one. Alright, so... Before we go through the key door, I 
think we... There's another door I want to go through first, so... Let's go there first, shall we? I don't think there are any bits in this area. Too. Oh, and as you can see, kind of like how the ladders are, we are going to have to change our perspective around a bit here in order to be able to uh, complete some lift paths. that sign? Did I write down what that sign says? I don't think I did. I don't think I saw that, that writing on that sign, so I don't know. I actually have the alphabet written down here. Let me get that out real quick. Yeah, I do have the alphabet written down here. So that first symbol is it's a corner one. Upper left corner, that's a W. And then... I don't know what that second square is supposed to be. It doesn't look like a letter. Oh well. Alright, so let's take this lift around. Make sure it goes in front. Just to be on the safe side. I don't know if that will actually affect anything. But it very well may, so... I just want to be on the safe side here. Let me just keep going up as long as we can keep the path going. Is there any more path? Nope. Alright, let's go into this door. Let's double use something. Well, we'll also get to the uh, the number system. It might looks like it looks like it might be part of the number system. But that will be later when we get to that. What do you have to say? Are you saying anything but Dot? Dot's your name, yes? Yes, his name is Dot, but... Right, let's keep going up, because there's a couple of bits in here that we can get. Actually, we could have taken the ladder all the way up. Ain't that just how it goes? Yep, there's two bits up there. So what we can do is we can actually line up this ladder on the side and make it so that we can just straight up use it. So let's go ahead and spin these around and line up the, uh, the ladder all on one side. I don't know if... Oh, okay. I can look up that way. Good. With the, uh, the right mm -hmm. stick, can, I forgot that can pan up. So, mm -hmm. let's... Mm -hmm. Here, and then we can just take this all the way up. Now I think that it's kind of tricky to get these, if I remember correctly, because they're actually yeah. Well, it's not actually that tricky at all. They're just on two different pillars, and I died. But that's okay, because we'll just end up back up here, and then we can go in this door. And once we come out of this door, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video. And when we come back, uh, more stuff going on. There's a bit here and more cubes, I, I suppose, we're going to be getting. Well, we'll see. I've been Radio Goji, and I'll be here next time. Join me, won't you?